socially free, but she noticed a disparity in the way she was treated. This speech was performed to address the injustice that she was facing. I chose this speech because for my entire life I've had a strong sense of justice, and I love to see someone speaking up for it. Well, children, there's so much racket, there must be something out of kilter. I think that twigs the niggers of the South and the women of the North all talking about rights. The white men will be in a fix pretty soon. Now what's all this here talking about? That man over there says women need to be helped into carriages and over ditches and always given the best place. I ain't never helped into carriages or over mud puddles, and I am never given the best place. And ain't I a woman? Look at me. Look at my arm. I have plowed and planted and gathered into barns, and no man could heed me. I could work as much and eat as much as a man, and if I could get it, and bear the lash as well. And ain't I a woman? I have borne 13 children and seen most all sold off to slavery. And when I cried out with my mother's grief, none but Jesus heard me. And ain't I a woman? Now they're talking about this thing in the head. What's it called again? Intellect. That's it, honey. What's that got to do with anything? If my cup don't hold but a pint and yours holds a quart, wouldn't you be mean not to give me my half measures full? Now, the little man in black there, he says women can't have as much rights as men, because Christ ain't a woman. <laughs> Where did your Christ come from? Where did your Christ come from? From God and a woman. Man, I got nothing to do with him. <laughs> if the first woman God ever made was strong enough to turn this world upside down all on her own, all these women together best be able to turn it back and get it right side up again. Obliged you for hearing me, and now Old Sojourner ain't got nothing more to say.